Welcome to the Karen Cave and it's finally fall. Well, not exactly fall. We haven't hit September 21st yet, so we've got that little bit of summer hanging in, and yet we're still getting our 90 degree weather here in North Carolina. But I'm starting to get into all of the wonderful recipes that my family has left, um, and in their beautiful handwriting as well. Some of the fall recipes, um, the warm and cozy feelings. And today I'm gonna start out doing a acorn squash. My mom used to do acorn squash all the time. You'd open up the oven and there was that acorn squash and my dad loved it. And I would just look at it and go, ugh. So I didn't really care for it, but I do now. Um, I have an appreciation for it. And today I'm gonna be making an acorn squash that has Quinoa, I can never say that word, and I had to actually YouTube it to make sure I was saying it right, quinoa, um, along with some cran raisins and some apple, um, apples and some pecans and some broccoli. So what's the core of all that? That is all considered brain food. So this is the perfect time of the year for me to be making this recipe because it's back to school. This is something that your kids can come home and have on as a snack i'm actually going to take the acorn squash and when i roast it in the old chamber stove um it's going to come like a bowl so you know how you get those all those different types of bowls now that you can buy with all these different recipes in them um, from ice cream to salads and everything well this is going to be the acorn squash bowl and it's going to be called the brain bowl because all the food that's going into it is good for the brain so that's how you can sell it to your kids Anyhow, I'm going to get started. I'm going to take you through this. It's not really complicated. Um, it's got some amazing food in, in it, and it's going to come together really nice. And I'm going to go grab some sage, some fresh sage, out of the garden as well. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm ready to get started. Um, this recipe looks like it's got, oh my gosh, it's got so much stuff, but it really, it doesn't. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do after I go over all of these um wonderful ingredients these brain ingredients with you i'm going to clear this off and i'll cut my squash in i've got the chamber stove um but uh some of the ingredients that we're going to use today and again i'm going to kind of i will give you the recipe um on what i use and how much i use but a lot of it i'm doing this a little bit by eye like my grandfather did um just a bad habit that i've gotten but I'm just gonna take up a small pan like this, line it with foil, um, and then we're gonna cut the squash and we're gonna put some coconut oil on it. We are not gonna use vegetable oil, we're not gonna use olive oil, we're gonna use coconut oil. It's better for the brain. So that and our acorn squash here, it's a smaller one. So what other brain foods do we have here? We've got some broccoli that um, I will cook with the apples and some sunflower seeds, I've got some garlic, I've got some mammoth pecans. I will put these in the description below. They are supposed to be out of this world. I got these from a friend. Um, some cran raisins, um, and what else do we have? Oh, we've got some turmeric. Yes, this is really good stuff. So, and I did go out in my garden and I did pick some sage. Again, this is a recipe that you can get super creative with. You don't have to use everything that I've got here. You can substitute out, you can add pineapple to it. Um, that's always good when you grill some pineapple or you even put it on the stove and, and cook it and roast it on, the, um, on a pan in the oven or something like that. As far as spices go, you know, there's, there's different spices that you like. So add what you'd like. You can do some salt and some pepper. It's been done with some red onion before. Um, so I switched things out a little bit, but this one I kind of wanted to focus on a little bit with the brain food. Even you could take an egg, um, and that would be just beautiful, but you could take an egg and fry it up and just place it right in the top of that quinoa, um, and that would look beautiful too. So anything that you want to add to it is up to you. I'm gonna take you through this recipe and we're gonna make this, um, and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to cut this adorable little acorn squash in half. So hold it up, you know, straight wise, kind of get an eyeball as to where you're gonna cut it. And make sure you've got a sharp knife. Um, this is one of the knives that I use a lot with um, all the recipes that I did earlier with canning and stuff. This is a Mercer knife. 
Um, not real expensive. I've got this in my description below, so take a look at it. If you don't have a sharp knife, this one will, honestly, it will cut anything. Um, it's a great knife. Um, I use my grandfather's knife, um, so near and dear to me, um, nice and sharp. Um, I have a wonderful son that likes to sharpen them for me, and this one you can actually see on the handle here um, where my grandfather carved his initials in this knife, so he would always have ownership to it um, at all the different clubs that he went to. So I'm going to start it right here and give it a nice slice nice sharp knife of his and these are a little bit hard to cut so be very careful when you are cutting them to get through it you don't want to cut yourself there we go so once you get it split open you're going to want to take those wonderful guts and seeds out I take them and I just put them in my compost pile in the backyard and um, Hopefully next year I will actually have some seeds coming out from them. But uh, you'll see how that makes a nice little bowl that we're going to put the quino in and all of our other brain food. As this does roast, um, it will get a lot softer and we will actually take some of the um, acorn squash out from here to make the bowl a little bit bigger. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is take some of your coconut oil and we are going to just take a dab of that and we're going to rub it on here. Put some on here and put it in here. Rub it around the edges of it real well. Um, let's see where I'm putting it down there. And you can even put some on your pan um, to lay it down on as well um, in there. And after you do that, you can actually, if you want to actually, 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 um, want to season it, you can add some salt, some pepper, some other types of seasoning to it. I'm going to put a little bit of the turmeric on it, and then I'm going to stick both of those in the oven. And then the next thing I'm going to get started is taking the apples. We're going to core those, chop them up. We're going to chop up some of the broccoli and get that on the oven. And actually, our queen now has already... Um, cooked for us. So it's not a, like I said, it's not a very hard recipe, not very complicated. The um, Kino, I um, added one cup or two cups of water to one cup of Quino. So anyhow, that word drives me crazy, as you can tell. So I'm going to go ahead and get the butternut squash in the oven and then uh, come back and we're going to make our, our stuffing for it and then we're going to put it all together. So stick with me. Okay, I've got my butternut squash all oiled and I've got it seasoned. I use some salt and pepper in that turmeric. Again, you can add anything that you want. Nutmeg, some even add cinnamon to it. Whatever you'd like to add when you get done with your seasoning, take the um, butternut squash and you want to put the cut side down on your pan that's got a little bit of oil on it as well. And you're going to put this in an oven at 400 degrees for about 30 minutes. So. We've got the old chambers all heated up, and we are going to put it in there. In 30 minutes, we'll be back. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make the stuffing because the acorn squash is in the oven cooking, and when we take it out, all we got to do then is fill that bowl up. We'll take a little bit of the acorn squash out of it to make the bowl a little bit bigger, but otherwise, we'll take the kiwa and we will mix it with our, our stuffing here, and we'll fill it up, and it'll be a great meal. Um, that great brain bowl. So the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and just um, turn the front burner on. Let's see if you can see that. Go in there and turn it down a little bit because this stove loves to get hot. And so I'm just going to go ahead and get some garlic going roasting here at the very bottom. I don't know about you, but I love garlic. It smells so good. Um, we'll get that cooking at the bottom. So we're going to roast that into our broccoli and our apples and we've got those wonderful pecans that my friend gave me so just get that garlic out let's get it start to simmer here and we can just go ahead and add everything that we want to this and get it um, simmering a little bit so 
Go ahead and add your pecans. How many pecans? A couple handfuls. <laughs> That's what I, I used. I'm going to go ahead and add my broccoli to this. Get it in there. And we'll add some apples to it. It's already starting to look really good, isn't it? Then I'm going to go ahead and add some of these sunflower seeds. Again, it's all done by eye, but I will give you some measurements kind of to guide you a little bit with. Um, a couple more pieces of apple here. And just stir that around and get that garlic roasting around it and steam the broccoli. Get all those flavors kind of to come together and then we will put the kiwa into the frying pan and bring it all together. And we're also going to add our cran raisins. Again, how many? A couple of handfuls. A lot of it also depends on how big your acorn squash is or how big your bowl is. Um, and you can also serve this in a regular bowl. You don't have to use your acorn, acorn squash, but um, the idea of doing that is that you can eat some of that squash. Um, some of the squash that you take out of it, you can chop, cut that up and put that into this mixture as well. So this will probably, might be too much for both of those acorn squashes, but we'll see. So go ahead and just simmer this for about, I'd say about 10 minutes um, on a low heat. Let it simmer, let it just come together, but keep stirring it. Um, it will get hot. And then we'll bring that together and we will... Wait to see that beautiful acorn squash come out of the oven. So stick with me. We'll be back. So our stuffing has been simmering here on the stove for about 10 minutes now. So um, it's, apples are getting nice and tender. The broccoli is getting nice and tender. The pecans got a nice little roast to them of garlic. I'm going to go ahead and add our kiwa to our, our mixture and get that all mixed up. And we should be ready for those acorn squash in about 15 minutes coming out of the oven. And then we will add this mixture to that. Uh, and it will make a beautiful dish. Very filling and light, but yet alone very healthy for you. So as soon as the acorn squash comes out, uh, I will be back and we will add our stuffing mixture to our acorn bowl and we will call it our new acorn squash brain bowl i just took our acorn squash out of the oven it took about 35 minutes at 45 400 degrees so it's going to vary just depending on how big your acorn squash is but um it looks amazing and beautiful you can see it's nice and steam and hot and it's nice and soft and tender and you'll know when your squash is done because the skin is is is, is soft so it's up to you if you want to leave it this way and then stuff them with your filling, um, just how they are. I tend to take a spoon and dig a little bit out and make it a little bit deeper just to give it a little bit more depth to fill a little bit more stuffing in there. So you can take this out and put it on the side and serve it as an extra side little dish. Um, or you can even mix it back in with your stuffing, it doesn't matter. Um, it's so nice and tender. Um, it's got a beautiful brown glaze to it from the, the oil that we put on it, the coconut oil and the salt and the pepper. It's got a nice roasted flavor. Look at that. So that just gives you just a little bit more room inside your acorn squashes to put your stuffing. And then, it's simple, just add your stuffing to it and then I'm gonna top it off with some sage um, leaves, some beautiful pecans and some apples in there and broccoli. Lots of good brain food on this one. Looks delicious. Again, great way to convince your kids that this is a good dish. They might not go for it though. Lots of good stuff in here.
bran raisins add a nice little flavor to it with the uh, apples on there. And then I just take some of the sage that I got out of my garden and just put it on the top just to add a little bit more flavor to it. So again, be creative. You can add your spices, you can add all different. If um, your family doesn't like kiwa, um, you can also do it with um, wild rice or some different type of stuffing like that. Um, there's all kinds of options to make a beautiful bowl um, out of this. You don't have to necessarily make a brain bowl, but a healthy bowl. So they really turned out nice. I hope you can see them. Um, just a beautiful dish that you can serve, you can take to friends. It's not hard to make. Um, I think the longest that we took here was 35 minutes to cook your squash. And while you're cooking your squash, um, you make your stuffing and when the squash comes out, you've got it. So it's a nice hot um, serving for you to take. Take over to your neighbors or just to a small gathering. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe as much as I have, these wonderful brain bowls. And until next time, happy cooking. And that's a wrap for today. Thank you for joining me in the Karen Cave. I really enjoy sharing my family recipes with you and I hope you'll continue to come back. Please subscribe to my page and give me a thumbs up for those that you like. I look forward to next time. Until then, happy cooking.